Hi guys, welcome back to Rybook TV. And well, as you can tell by the bright yellow car behind me, today's pretty ridiculous because I have just been down to McLaren in Woking and picked up their 720S Spider press car. They're words that I never in a million years thought I'd be saying. But hopefully, if you're watching this video, you've already seen our full drive video, our full cinematic video with this car. If you haven't, link will be in the top of the screen. But what this one is all about is what it's like to live with a 720S Spider because <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I've got that car for five days and it's my only means of transport. It's a heat wave in the UK, so the roof is going to be permanently off. But <laughs> I'm going to be running that car for five days. And I'm going to bring you guys along as well to show you how much space is in it, what it's like to live with every single day, etc. etc. And one thing I will say firstly, I've just driven 160 miles on the motorway in that car. That is unbelievable how comfortable that car is on a motorway. It's BMW 3 Series and 5 Series levels of comfort. It's unbelievable. But first things first, I'm going to take you on a little quick walk and tour around exactly what we've got here. So, 720S, finished in Volcano Yellow. Um, we've got a few of the carbon bits on here. So we've got the carbon here. We've got carbon wing mirrors. Um, but actually, not too much. Oh my, look at it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And tell you what, silver wheels. How good do they look? I always leave the spoiler up as well because I just love having a spoiler up. But yeah, this thing looks incredible. Let's just show you inside. So we've got all the yellow on the outside. Let's open this up here. So we've got yellow seat belts. We've got the yellow stitch throughout the seats, etc., etc. But yeah, it just looks absolutely stunning, this car. And yeah, I can't quite believe I'm going to be driving this for the next seven days. So the plan from here, really, today, it's quite late in the day, so I'm not really going to film anything else at the end of today. But tomorrow we're heading over to Caffeine and Machine to meet up with Dale from Car Mad Dad. Um, because, well, it'd be quite nice for him to drive this. So I'll probably catch up with you guys on the drive over to Caffeine and Machine, maybe at Caffeine and Machine. Um, but yeah, where well, I'll show you around a few more bits, we'll have a chat with Dale, see what he thinks of the car. Um, but hopefully during this time with the car, I'll be able to show you some of the quirks and little features that you may not have known about the 720S. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hello and welcome to day two with the 720S. Over here, we have Dale from Car Mad Dad and his <laughs> rather lovely 992 Carrera S. It's just Carrera S, it's not a 4S, Carrera S. It looks fabulous. Now, before I go on, there is actually doing a video on the 720S, which, well, once my video goes out, yours will already be live, won't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'll put a link to the top, uh, in the top of the screen to Dale's video. Go over there, subscribe to the channel and so on, because Car Mad Dad, it's, it's all for charity, isn't it? Mm -hmm. which, is a, which is a great thing. So yeah. please head over there, support Dale in, in all this, because it's just such an amazing thing that he's doing. But I noticed on the way over here this morning, let's get back to the 720S. I want to show you guys a few little quirks that I've seen. So first things first, let's turn this around. I want to show you the boot space. It's actually really impressive. So in some supercars, you pop the bonnet and then you have to feel, fiddle around down here for a catch. But no, not on the 720, you literally just lift it. And then we've got all of my camera gear in here. Now it doesn't look like a lot, but so if, if I start taking stuff out of here, you'll see just how unbelievably deep and big and how much stuff we've got in here. Now I've had supercars in the past and even my two series coupe that I'm running now, it's actually a bit of a pain to get stuff in the boot. But here, there's so much room. And I actually think, I won't like me saying this, I actually think it rivals the 911, which you can see him over there just giving me the, the scowls, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. And the other thing I've noticed, which I actually haven't seen any video show, let's just open this up and drop in. I may have to start the car here, so bear with me. Down here, on your right-hand side, you've got pockets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to start the car. So, start it up. Down here, there's little pockets. And here as well, pockets in the doors, which I've been storing sunglasses and different bits, which is actually really, really cool. And it's even better, when you open the door, they lock, so you can't actually get them open which is a really cool little feature with the car. Now I've done so far, 
around 250 miles which actually is is a lot for a 720s and my initial impressions are that it is unbelievably comfortable i don't know how mclaren have managed this well i do with clever dampers and, and so on but this car is so at home cruising on a motorway it's actually unbelievable but if you want to see what i really think of this car please make sure you check out our big video which should have gone live by now and again i'll put a link in the top of the screen and so just like that we come to the final day with the 720s now yesterday was absolutely manic so i didn't actually get a chance to get the camera out and show you guys what we were doing but we took this car into the middle of wales and stayed out until sunset which if you live in the uk in august is quite late so we were out until about midnight with that car last night um, so i'm a little bit tired this morning but let me just sum up my experience with this car it's been an absolute joy to drive this thing around over the last few days but what i've learned mostly is just how usable this car is and how much i've kind of fallen in love with it i knew it was going to be fast i knew it was going to be amazing but i just didn't quite understand how much it would get under my skin i've discovered it's got quite a personality this car very split personality one second it can be cruising around super, super easy, and the next it can be a fire-breathing monster that demands respect. I think it still looks incredible. I mean, look at it. Look at it sat here. I've come here today, actually. I should explain why it's in just a, a normal, grungy, multi-story car park. Coming to get a few different kind of photos, some really urban areas for today. Um, but I think it still looks fantastic everywhere it goes. It gets so many looks. People stop and talk to you about it and take photos of it. This, I think, is the nicest spec 720 I've seen. I've seen a lot of 720s. I think it suits the yellow paint. When they said it was going to be volcano yellow, I was like, oh, that's going to be a bit garish, but it just suits the car. It's incredibly easy to use. We've got so much stuff in the front of it. It's carried my all of my camera gear around all week. It's been absolutely fabulous. And actually, if you look up here, multi-story car park it got in here with ease and i think that just shows how good this car is it gives me confidence to bring it into a place like this which you'd never really normally dream of bringing a supercar it's a tight twisty multi-story car park well admittedly with nobody in it with some really quite tight entrances but the car handled it absolutely fine the nose is quite high actually and um, so we had plenty of space we didn't even i haven't really had to use nose lift either but all in all i'm completely besotted by this i think it's absolutely fantastic if you want a proper look at this car please use the link in the top of the screen to go and check out our main video which we've been filming this week because it's a good one now thank you guys ever so much for for watching i'm going to go and enjoy my last uh, my last day with the car and yeah please subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come and if you've got any questions about what the 720s is like to live with please put them in the comments below because i'll happily answer reasonable reasonable questions i'll happily answer any of them and i'll catch you guys again really really soon